I thought about buying this pack all morning, and as launch time inched closer and closer, I decided that I would actually buy it. After all, it's been a while since I bought a Sims pack, and I've been very curious about how good this interior design career would be. Well, boy oh boy. Hey, I hope you all have been staying healthy, happy, and hydrated. So today, the newest game pack was finally released, and I decided to drop around $33, Canadian dollars by the way, on it to see if it was actually worth it. Honestly, I'm not too sure what to say. I'm not going to show you every single thing, even though I did film every single thing in every single swatch. I just don't think it's worth doing that considering the EA Game Changers have already done that and you can see all of the items before purchasing the pack. I'm sure there's tons of YouTube videos already out there that will show you every single item in every single swatch. Instead of that, I'm going to showcase to you the best items and the worst items from the pack. I do want to point out before getting into this that pretty much all of the textures are great. There are a few objects with just some fantastic and realistic looking textures which I adore and as soon as I saw them I was like damn, like I want to touch that in real life, like give me that texture, give me that headboard, give me that couch. I want to touch it. It looks fun. It looks comfy. It looks like it would feel great. The first thing I want to talk about is the sectional couches. I wish that this was a thing since 2014. Like, why was this not included? This should have been. I think it's going to be amazing to build big rooms with this, to build public lots with this. I think that there's a lot more options you have now with the design of a room. You don't have to fit it with just the standard couch or love seat. You can make a custom couch to fit the space. And I like that. And I like the look of the couches. There's two different styles that they gave us. Both of them are fantastic in the design and the color swatches. The color swatches for this entire pack are quite nice. And I like how they gave us the option of black and white for pretty much every single object. Very cool. Now, I think I said this in my last video about the pack, but the chairs in this pack, like, damn, yeah, I like them so very much. I would love them in real life. The look, the style, the lines of the chair, the textures of the chair, the color swatches, they did such a good job with them. And that includes the living room chairs and also the kitchen chairs as well as the bar stool and the standard couch as well. I definitely thought I wasn't going to like the module shelving. I thought that was kind of ugly looking from the trailers and such. And I have to say, I do think that to an extent. I love the squared off shelving. I hate the rounded ones. The squared off shelving is just chef's kiss. And it's really cool being able to pick up an entire design with one piece. You can kind of break them off and delete the ones you don't want, but you could attach them and move the several pieces of cabinet or shelving together, which is a neat function. Makes it easy if you've made a huge thing on your wall. There's tons of little decor items in this pack that I'm obsessed with. There's no other words to describe. I'm obsessed with it. The art, the rugs, the little clothing details you can put in the shelves, the shoes, the shoe boxes. Like, damn, I'm in love. That's all I have to say. Let's move on to the items I don't really like from the build buy. The first one on the list would have to be these cushions. What is this? This is seriously, this is just a butthole. <laughs> like, I don't even know what else to say. It's a butthole. There's no button to it. There's no detail in the center. It's just a butthole. And I'm sorry for being crude or gross, but you can't argue with that. Like, look at it. Now, this one isn't really about an item. It's about an item that is missing. I'm sorry, but if I am buying a game pack, I am expecting new flooring and new wall swatches. But where are they in this pack? There aren't any. 
Like, damn, I expect new flooring and new wall swatches in stuff packs. But this is a game pack about interior design. How is that not interior design? <laughs> like, new floors! Come on, EA, get it together. In the end, I really like the overall design of the build buy items. I think they fit very well with a few other packs, like Tiny Living, Discover University, and Nifty Knitting. It seems like the designers have really started to pay attention to actual real life trends and have been styling their pieces after that. Although I am constantly disappointed with the lack of current or trendy build buy items, I do need to keep in mind that sometimes it doesn't make sense to include trendy things, it makes more sense to include timeless designs instead. However, you know, sometimes it's a little disappointing not to see a trendy thing. Either way, game development takes time. Once again, I'll be showcasing the best and the worst cast items. For this category, I was very, very disappointed with the amount of masculine options that came with the pack. It always feels sort of like that, you know, we get way less masculine clothing than we do feminine clothing, but this time, it was very obvious. I need to start off by saying that the dresses are the cutest thing I've ever seen. I particularly love the v-neck dress with the little triangle cutouts by the thighs. I think the turtleneck is perfect with that. I think it's trendy. I think I want to wear it right now. So please, yay, send me that, okay? I also like the cottage core dress that we got with the little detailing by the neckline. It's kind of like a squared off neckline, but also a sweetheart neckline, and I'm digging it. I'm loving this vibe. 10 out of 10 would vibe again. And it's not just the adult dresses I like. The single dress we got for children, it's adorable too. I think that dress is just too sweet looking. There are a few tops I loved from this pack. The off the shoulder ones, I just, I can't even, I don't have the words to express how much I adore this, how much I'm obsessed with this, how much I want that in real life. I love it. There's like a vintage retro vibe to it. The belt is cute. The off the shoulder aspect is perfect. Just obsessed with it. I also really like this top with the button up aspect to it and the little like, frilliness at the bottom. Like I said in the last video, I just love these braids. They did these baby hairs justice. They did the braids justice. You can see the depth to it. Just everything is so good. Like look at those baby hairs on her neck. Look at those baby hairs near her ears. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. I wish that they would go back and fix every single hairstyle. Every single one, especially the base game hairs, so they look as good as this hairstyle. Cause this hairstyle is just killing. Sadly, we did not get as many masculine options as I would have hoped for. And most of them are kind of ugly. I particularly don't like this vest. And I feel like we have so many different versions of this vest in game already that we don't need this one. As soon as I saw Iggy wearing this top in the trailer, I knew I didn't like it. But seeing it in game has confirmed it even more. I am not a fan of this layering. That is not how you layer clothes, EA. Another thing, look at this top. Why is the one shoulder way more exposed? I don't know why it bothers me so much, but I hate it. It looks like it is just slipping off that child's shoulder and I need to fix it for them. Like, <laughs> I just need to fix it for them. It doesn't look proper. It doesn't look like a style or a fashion choice. It looks like it's falling off their shoulder. Overall, I'm disappointed at the amount of masculine outfits, but the clothes we did get are adorable. Aside from a few odd choices or things I personally don't like. After going through all of the casts and build buy objects, I was finally ready to start decorating homes. I thought that this would honestly be the easiest thing I'd do today. I haven't really been playing The Sims for a while now, but I used to pretty much only build when I was playing. Although I do have to admit, many of my builds are half done and are waiting for me to finish them. Either way, I thought I was ready, I was prepared, 
I was a builder. I know how to design. I like to design. But I gotta admit, though, it was harder than it looked. Even though I failed so many times, I kept wanting to play more just to succeed at a gig. The career is addicting, I have to give them that. I love the whole aspect of it too, going into another sim's home and redesigning it. It was very, very neat. And the little interactions you could do with the client when they were there is cute. That being said, the pack felt way more empty than other game packs. I think that if you actually compared Dream Home Decorator with Realm of Magic or Strangerville or even Jungle Adventure, you'd feel like Dream Home Decorator is missing a ton of gameplay. And maybe even build buying casts while we're at it. Even though I like the overall concept and theme of this pack, I don't think that they put enough stuff into it, which is very disappointing. Although it is kind of in trend with what Maxis, EA, and the Sims franchise has been doing in recent years. I definitely encountered some bugs with this game pack. The first one I noticed was the fact that I couldn't place objects close together or in certain positions around another one. This was very frustrating because I even had the move objects cheat on. It ended up not happening again after my initial build buy overview, but it's worth noting. I noticed that the tablet the clients use to show your sim designs will occasionally, well, most likely glitch. It's just a visual thing though, it won't affect the game at all, but it's kind of ugly to look at, just to be honest. The first gig I had never popped up at 9am like it was supposed to, so I ended up being around 30 minutes late to it, and I had to search every single world to find the clients and to travel to them like that. It worked out, however when I got there my sim couldn't even say hello, let alone find out what the client liked or disliked. The clients just automatically disappeared. How am I supposed to have a fighting chance if that happens? Another bug that I encountered was that my camera was acting weird. I actually had to go into the settings to ensure that it was set the way I like it. And at the same time of this funky camera issue action, my sim somehow glitched into the wall and ended up standing on the exterior edge of the second floor of the client's house. Thankfully, I know how to teleport my sims, but it was still annoying. My final verdict is that you should wait for a sale. Unless you have the extra money to spend on it and you desperately want it, it's not worth paying full price for. The cast items are cute, but are lacking for masculine choices and for the kids and toddlers. Which of course, right? <laughs> Those are always the categories that they don't have enough clothes for or hair for or anything like that. Just saying. The build buy items are also nice looking, but it's not worth spending like $30 Canadian just for build items. The gameplay feels like something that you would play with for hours straight until you get bored. Then you might never touch that career again. It reminds me of being a vet because I have done that where I played a couple of vets for a few days straight and then it's now like two years later and I haven't played that family again. Or really any other active career, not just vets. Although the gameplay is very interesting, it can be a little difficult. And I'm not just saying that because I'm salty that only one client out of four liked my design. Okay, maybe I'm a little salty. Let me know if you end up purchasing the pack and what you think about it. Also, if you want your pet to be featured in my next YouTube video, go check out my Facebook page. I have a pinned post at the top of the page requesting pet photos, so please leave a comment with a pic and I'll feature it in an upcoming video. Thank you to everyone who watched the whole thing. I'll be posting another video for Paralives Dev Chat on Wednesday evening, which is later today. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.